Hi guys, I'm Ingrid, the founder of Pitchtopia. I'm gonna have a little lesson on identity today. You excited? I am. All right, <laughs> I'm a queer fat femme Jew goddess. Fucking hell. I go by the name Ingrid. Have we met before Ingrid, other than in my nightmares? Respect it. We're gonna, we're gonna dissect this little sentence for a little bit. Have you ever done any acting? Maybe played a crowd of people or something? So, identity can be explained in a lot of different ways. First of all, it's self-proclaimed, so I can call myself whatever I want. I choose to go by the name Ingrid. Ooh, now I remember. If you've met me in the past eight years, I've, I, I've said, hi, my name is Ingrid, nice to meet you. No, I think it was back in the early 90s. You were going by Penguin or something. I was not born with a name, Ingrid. Yeah, it's very rare that people are born with a name. It's not my given name. So there are people in my life that don't know that I seriously go by Ingrid, like family members or people who don't pay attention. Uh, <laughs> but I've been going by Ingrid for eight years, and... This means that that's what you should call me. If I have introduced myself to, as Ingrid, and you find out that my name is Rachel, that's your knowledge that you can add to your bank of awesome facts about Ingrid. Totally fucking awesome, Rachel. But it doesn't give you permission to deny me of being called Ingrid and calling me Rachel. Yeah, I don't think I need your permission to call you Rachel. Rachel. That's not how it works. And if you call me Rachel, I'd probably say I you pretty darn hard. What did you say then? I think your mouth tripped on one of your chins. And regardless of what someone chooses to be called, you're going to call them what they want to be called. Because it's rude not to. And you're a considerate person. And that's that. Well, actually, Rachel, I'm a rude motherfucker. Period. End. But I've had a lot of issues recently with meeting people or hearing people discuss identity as gender performance and not being able to understand. The thing is that just because someone looks a certain way or dresses a certain way doesn't mean that it performs our like understanding of gender. What the fuck are you talking about? Because I under like I know everyone has their own feelings about how a girl and how a boy should perform their gender. You need to throw that out the window. Okay, Rachel, you are fucked in the head. Gender is social constructed socially constructed. I'm like ninety nine percent sure. But is someone identifies as the female gender, regardless of what they're wearing, how short their hair is, anything, you're going to call them by the pronoun that they choose. Okay, so I go down to ladies' night at the local discotheque. I get to the front of the line and Biff the bouncer says, It's ten bucks to get in, mate. So I say, Fuck you, Biff, you insensitive cunt. I'm a girl. So Biff lets me in for free. Later that night, Biff's doing the rounds through the discotheque and sees me half dancing, half anal fucking some slut on the dance floor. So he comes up to me and he says, Hey, I thought you were a girl, you lying cunt. And I say, Fuck you, Biff, you insensitive cunt. I'm clearly a lesbian. Now, because gender purely comes down to what we decide for ourselves, I turn back into a dude the next night and head down to the men's basketball league to get my hoop on. And who's the captain of my team? Poor, confused, fucking Biff. You're fucking with Biff's head, Ingrid. If they want to be called she, 
you're gonna call them she. If they want to be called he, you're gonna call them he. And you want to know the best part? If they want to be called they, you're gonna call them they. It's rude not to. Regardless, if they have a penis or a vagina or nothing or everything or both or half or a quarter. Who the fuck are you hanging around with? Of whatever. You're gonna call them what they want to be called. I don't see why this is a big deal. I don't see why you don't understand this. Okay, I can't do this anymore. She's too fucking weird. She goes on to tell us how she identifies as fat and that her nickname is Angie Ingi. And then does this. Boom. That's how you make up a nickname, bitches.